Assalamu alaikum dear students I am Maria Vaseem and it is our second lesson of grammar Today the topic of the lesson is tenses as all of you are well acquainted about what the tenses are and where do we use and how do we use tenses here i will give a very brief introduction to you people there are 12 tenses and four tenses deals with each time period for example in present time we are having four tenses four in past and four in future respectively respectively in present we are having present indefinite then present continuous present perfect and then present perfect continuous same we follow in past and in future today the topic which i am going to teach you that is present simple and by this lesson you will come to know that how we can make present simple tense and where we can use present simple tenses okay now dear students in all the tenses the person play very important role and it is very essential very vital to understand that what persons are i hope all of you are having good knowledge regarding this but i want you to refresh to recall all that your memories regarding persons so let us give a very very brief look that what persons are there are three type of persons first person second person and third person in easy words we can say the person who is talking that person is called first person the person who is listening is called second person and the person about whom the discussion is that is called third person in first person we have single singular we are having i in second person singular you and in third person singular that is he she it and singular name same case is with first person plural we i will be converted into we the second person plural is you and the third person plural he she it whatever the singular name the, that is that the singular that is the singular third person and plural third person is they okay now look at these sentences i cook food every day they play cricket on weekends now the both tenses are related to present simple tense here uh now we will see that how we make present simple tenses in first and second person now please students you have to concentrate about the person that where and how they do they need to be apply and what kind of formula is being used with these kind of these persons the formula of present indefinite though it is not mentioned here but let me tell you that is subject plus first form of verb plus object right s and e s that is optional with some cases we use with some kind of person we use and with some we don't use so with first and second person singular when you make present indefinite tenses first and second person singular we use subject plus verb verb basic form infinitive and then object i need their help that is i is subject need is the base form infinitive of this of this sentence and then object in same 
सेंटेंस नंबर टू यू स्पीक इंग्लिश यू इज सब्जेक्ट ऑफ द सेंटेंस स्पीक इज वर्ब बेस फॉर्म इन्फिनेटिव एंड देन इंग्लिश इज ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ द सेंटेंस ओके दैट वॉज अबाउट द फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड पर्सन सिंगुलर नाउ अबाउट फर्स्ट ऑल द प्लूर दैट वट फॉर्मूला यू वी अप्लाई फॉर द प्लूरस I was the first person singular. Now V is the first person second. Sorry, um, first person plural. We help others in need. V is the second person. Subject help that is base form infinitive, and then object of the sentence. You listen to your parents. They work on daily wages. Now we, you, they, they all are plurals. now here come third person singular how do we form he visits now the formula would be subject plus verb plus s or es that is the addition of addition here that when we convert when we make first with uh, that present simple tense when we make sentences with present simple tense and we use third person singular we uh, use s and es that depends on the spelling of the verb he visits his uncle often here we have applied s it rains in monsoon ali pays attention in class now you can see he it and ali they all are singular third person singular so we had use s with verbs of these verbs now here comes verbs ending in s sound miss like miss catches etc now when your verb ends with sound s you add es with it for example he miss he misses his holidays miss gives sound s then you will add s with it you add es with it she teaches english now another point is verbs ending in y and if it is having sec if it proceed with consonant words like spy fly p is consonant and y is here y is proceeding with p then fly and y worry when we change into present indefinite tense and we use these verbs with in present indefinite simple tense we add i e with it and then it becomes she envies her classmates it worry worry is the word when we use it in present simple tense it will become it worries we will add i e s it worries me a lot i think point is getting clear to you people here comes now we will change present indefinite present simple tense in question and the formula we will use we will use do and does they are auxiliary they are helping verbs auxiliary verbs and we use them to make question of present indefinite tense and the formula is you will use do plus then verb and then object of the sentence i need their help when we convert this sentence into question do i need their help that is regarding about first and second person singular form first and second person singular form when we changed we use do do you speak english now i and you they both are first and second person singular when we will come to the plural forms do we help other in do we help others in need again we you they they are plural forms we again we will use do as a helping verb as auxiliary verb to make question of these sentences we help others in need when we change into question do we help others in need you listen to your parents do you listen to your parents they work on daily wages do they work on daily wages and question mark you know that we put question mark in when we changed sentences into question now here comes the third that is third person singular 
when we change third person singular as in the assertive sentences we add s and es same when we change them into question we will use we do not use do we use does when we change when we convert these sentences into when we change these sentences into questions does she visit his uncle often he visits his uncle often that's what that was the assertive sentence that was the simple sentence he visits his uncle often when we change it to into question does he visit we will not apply s with visit again we will not it will be wrong to say does he visits it will be incorrect does he visit his uncle often it rains in monsoon that was the assertive sentence when we convert it into question does it rain in monsoon it will not be rains it will be rain does it rain does ali pay attention in class question mark okay when we will change present simple and negative in negative sentences we put not with helping auxiliary verbs with helping verbs or, or auxiliary verbs like with first and second person when we change into negative sentences i need their help i don't need their help you don't speak english we just put not with helping verb and the formula would be subject plus do plus not plus object of the sentence you do not speak english we will come to the pop all the plurals when we convert all these plurals with negative we do not help others you just put one thing in your mind that is when we we put do we will add just not with it then it will be converted into negative sentence we do not help others in need you don't listen to your parents they don't work on daily wages third person singular form when we convert into negative we will apply does and with does we will apply not he does not visit his uncle often it does not rain in monsoon ali does not pay attention in class okay students now here comes the last point that where do we apply present tenses it is very necessary to uh, remember that where we apply present or simple sentence present tenses um we apply when we want to show that an action is is it is it is in routine it happens daily every day second thing is that it is the regular often or frequently that the action has been done and sometimes occasionally or rarely it has been done then again we use and never if the action has been used never then again we use present tense for example there are that i have given example to you as well first one is that everyday routine i recite quran every day second one is he regularly comes to school you can say that comes to school he regularly comes to school because he is third fourth person singular so we apply comes we don't we do not say come he regularly comes to school we rarely attend family function that is then uh, the action which is being performed rarely there so we apply present tense and then the last one is they never come late the action which is never being done okay now we use present tense for facts as well like the sun rises in the east we use present tense for those facts which which is which cannot be changed the things which happens and which has been happening since la since many years and that is the facts of the universe that we use for these present tense like the sun rises in the east we need oxygen for breathing and the schedules for the schedule we use present tense like here i have given you two example the school starts at 8 o'clock that is the schedule that is the routine the train departs from the platform number 2 okay so we will use all the formulas when we will change it into negative we change we will use do and does with not and when we convert these sentences into interrogative we will use do and does in the beginning of the sentence i think this lecture was clear to you i think i hope that if you feel any difficulty you can 
uh, ask students we will always appreciate your question okay now uh, in your book um, you are having page number 74 in grammar book you are having two books one is about the universe which in which you are studying about lesson and there is another book which is blue one that is your grammar book uh, your composition book here that book deals with your tenses your active and passive booth and here the there is portion of your composition as well in which you are having letter application and paragraph writing in class 9th you don't study about essay writing you uh, you go through with the, the with the skills of uh, application letter and um, paragraph writing and here translations are as well so on page number 74 you are having present indefinite tense i gave you this lecture regarding present indefinite tense and i hope that when you will open your book it will help you to make to translate these sentences into english and uh, i want your feedback in form of your assignments on the uh, on this page thank you so much god bless you